Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hi, my name is Matthew and I'm a Salesforce consultant at Solved. If you've ever been a Salesforce administrator, developer, or architect, you may have noticed that adjusting permissions, specifically for field level security, can sometimes be a pain when adjusting profiles or permission sets, especially when you're trying to adjust field level security for multiple profiles, multiple permission sets, multiple objects, or multiple fields, or, or all of those things all at once. Now, this has been a big pain point of mine when trying to configure Salesforce, but luckily I found a, a few different tools that, that can help with that. Today, I'd like to show you just one of those tools that I, I feel very confident can help improve your quality of life as you're working in Salesforce so that adjusting permissions for field level security will turn into a breeze. So my favorite tool for managing field level security in Salesforce comes from a suite of two tools called Jetstream. I've loved using Jetstream and I encourage you to check it out. I promise this is unsponsored. It's just a tool that has saved me a lot of time. They have a, a free web version you can try out. They also have a local version that you can download and run using a Docker container. So I'm using the local version. Once you're in Jetstream, you can add an org here, production sandbox. I have a production org, a demo org that I'm using. First, you'll just have to click manage permissions, this tab in the middle here. And then you can select as many profiles or permission sets that you need to adjust field low, need to need to adjust permissions for, as well as all the objects that you need to adjust them on. So system admin, standard user, and I'm gonna select a couple of partner users that I have in here, partner user profiles. And then I'm going to select, I'll say case and I'll say opportunity. And now I'll look at lead as well. Okay. So I'm actually going to start with this tab on the left, object permissions, and it's able to, to compare side by side every profile or permission set that I've selected and uh, in a table format that shows all the objects one after the other. So this, this makes it incredibly, incredibly simple to, to update these object permissions in bulk where I can update an entire row of permissions at once. I can select some one by one, or I can edit an entire column, or if needed, I could select all of the cells all at once, depending on how I've filtered these profiles permission sets and objects. So right here for this demo, I'm just going to add view all permissions here for the standard user. And I'm going to add read access to opportunity on this partner, partner user profile. Now this little number up here is going to keep track of how many changes I've made that are unsaved. And if I ever needed to reset my changes, I can reset all my changes with this button up top. Now here's the field permissions. Again, same thing it has the profiles or permission sets side by side. Same thing with the columns where I can select the entire column at once, check the box or uncheck it. I can, something cool is I can filter and say, show me, show me every field where this profile does not have read access or edit access or anything like that, which I can do here. And that can be useful if you just want to compare all of the fields that this person is missing or, or sorry, this profile is missing access to. And then again, you can edit an entire row. You can edit the entire table and you can also filter by names of fields. And so in this case, I knew I was looking for a specific field and right here it takes me straight to it and I can actually edit both of these fields. And then I could search for, I don't know, I could search for case reason. It'll show up here and I could take away edit access. Now it's, it's still keeping track of all the changes I've made. I'll click the save button. It'll have me review how many changes I'm going to make. I click that save button 
depending on uh, how much metadata is in your org and how many changes you tried making, that's gonna that's going to influence how long the save is gonna take. Now it looks like I hit one small error. And, oh, it tells me right here, I can't edit that field, but I like that it saved all of my other fields. Okay, so that's it for managing permissions in Salesforce. Again, this has been my favorite tool that I've used so far. If you have any questions about using Jetstream, automating Salesforce, please, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll be in touch. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.